Okay, you all know Dorothy Stoneman. It's an extraordinary hero. So, as many of you know, Dorothy let us all know early in the year that after 38 years, yes, and I'm glad we've got the posse with you. You're here. You want the posse up? <laughs> after 38 years after founding and leading Youth Build, that she was transitioning. And we couldn't have this national gathering of opportunity leaders without taking a moment to just say a deep, heartfelt thank you to you, Dorothy. Uh, you have been extraordinary. Your, your leadership for our movement, your leadership in the anti-poverty movement, the opportunity movement, the national service movement, the social entrepreneurship movement, and most of all, the social justice movement has been an inspiration to all of us. I will never forget the first time I met you. You may remember this. I was 26 years old. Michael Brown and I were trying to start City Year. We had raised no money. We didn't even have nonprofit status. We hadn't done anything. And you Service America invited us in to make a presentation to decide whether or not they'd be our fiscal agent, which we couldn't have raised any money without that, and whether they would endorse us, as these young people hadn't done anything. So I walked into this boardroom, and there's people there sitting around a table, mostly very serious with their arms folded, ready to grill us. And so I start dancing and making the pitch. And Dorothy, out of all those people, had a big smile on her face. She kept nodding her head. And all the energy you gave me, she remembers, was, I'm with you. Keep going, Alan. I'm with you. I got your back. And so I focused in on you. And it sort of gave me the confidence to sort of get through that. And then needless to say, you serve, Amer you service America voted to get behind us. And that was our first win. That gave us credibility. We went and said, we got this national organization with Dorothy Stoneman on the board and other people getting behind us. And so I'm a, a direct example of your ability to empower young people. Now, I'm not a young person anymore, but I feel like a young person. And the youngest person in this whole gathering today is Dorothy Stoneman. I just want to say to you from the bottom of my heart, you are a great blessing in my life. I tell people in this movement, especially young people, I did it yesterday, if you join a movement like this, you will make lifelong friends, and you are one. You've been an incredible role model for me. You're an constant, constant source of inspiration. Your justice nerve is more powerful than anybody I know. And I know you're not transitioning. I know you have an even bigger vision now, which is Opportunity Youth United and really building the movement of these beautiful young people. So I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, you're extraordinary. And keep it up. We need you. Here. Dorothy, we have something special for you. You are such a source of inspiration. But Alan and I also want you to know you're such a bundle, and you all know this, of energy, of energy, and force, and perseverance. We have a saying in the Army to be on azimuth. It, it, it means to have a certain direction and continue in that direction, and you have for Opportunity Youth, but more so for those of us who endeavor to try to change the world in some sort of small way. And I just want to thank you also and uh, let you know how inspiring you have been for me. As a result, we've got something for you, and I'd like to read it. It's a certificate of gratitude presented to Dorothy Stoneman at the 2016 National Opportunity Summit on September 10th, 2016 for her lifetime of service and dedication to being the change for founding Youth Build in 1978 in Harlem and growing it into a national movement that has engaged over 165,000 young adults and families and inspired the nation. For inspiring Opportunity Youth United to enable young leaders to seize the movement to end poverty and injustice for being an essential leader in the national service, social entrepreneurship, and opportunity movements, for mentoring hundreds of young people, peers, and colleagues, for empowering young people and putting them forth as leaders who need to be heard, for reminding us all that we need a much greater sense of urgency when it comes to the crisis that is facing our young people and low-income communities. And finally, 
for being a role model of integrity, social justice, hope, community, and love for all of us. Thank you so much, Dorothy. You are a blessing to all of us who know and love you. Signed, Alan and Rob. I also want to say we, we like to give books, so we got Dorothy a little bit of a pantheon of some of the great books of social justice heroes because she is one. The Alchemist, Gloria Steinem's book, My Life on the Road, of course, Gandhi's book, Nelson Mandela, and a new great book on Bobby Kennedy. And we had a number of people who were here sign this book for you. If any of you haven't had a chance to sign this, please stick around. You all have. Okay. Anybody else in the audience, if you haven't signed this book for Dorothy, there's some wonderful message in here. Please. Uh, Grab it before you go. All right. Dorothy, we love you. So before you, before we go through this, I just want to add um, a small word. I've been only recently gotten to know you, but what I feel like I've learned has mostly been through these wonderful young adults that you have totally believed in and empowered to lead. I had the wonderful experience of spending several days in Aspen with several of you, which was like really, really cool. Um, but honestly, through those three days with you, I just thought, I thought about you, Dorothy, because I realized they all come from your family. And they were like, they were like family. We literally went hiking in a pretty rigorous hike that none of us was prepared for. So we had to help each other, give each other water, oxygen if we needed it. But there's this spirit of family that just emanates from them. And you, you meet somebody, and you just have a good feeling about them. And I feel that way about every youth-filled person that I have encountered. Youth so youth-filled and Opportunity Youth United and many more, I'm sure, social ventures that will come that will do a lot of great good in the world. So I just wanted to add my thanks, and thank you for being a great role model for people like me and all of us on this stage.